Now, in our very first story, in a remarkable twist to the last match day of the Ghana Premier League, players of Inter Allies on Sunday decided to score own goals in their match against Ashcold, ostensibly to protest over what they say was an alleged match-fixing plot by their officials. Fiorinian brings you the details. When the points meant more than just a three points on offer, when the clubs begin to realize the wins are more crucial than ever, underhand dealings can take place. The Ghana Premier League has given us a lot to celebrate, but one of the last fixtures of the just-ended season produced a remarkable twist in this tale. For the handlers of our football, this is a major setback they so desperately wanted to avoid. With hooliganism lurking in the corridors of Ghana football, alleged match-fixing was the last thing anyone will expect to manifest. The game between Ashanti Gold and Inter Allies had very little in it to inspire talk of any dishonest acts before the game. Allies were firmly the first side to be relegated this season, while Ashanti Gold was decently sitting mid-table with nothing more to prove. In moments of aberration, Inter Allies' players decided to take up the responsibility of scoring goals against themselves in what they claim is a protest against a match-fixing agreement between some of the officials of both clubs. The Ghana Football Association, in a statement on Monday, have condemned match fixing in the local game and have set up an investigation into the matter. They seek to further lodge complaints to the Criminal Investigation Department of the Ghana Police Service. Meanwhile, Ashanti Gold Sporting Director Darlington has denied playing any part in the alleged match fixing and says Ashanti Gold won the Ghana Premier League match fairly. We went in well prepared and had nothing. Um, at the back of our minds. All we knew was to go in and massacre them, and uh, that was what happened. We won the game. We did not tend to score our own goal. He only knows which breast inside he has breasted that he had to score two goals. Now, the GFA says they are ready to pursue their matter to its logical conclusion, bringing their perpetrators to book. Obed Tofor, who is their compliance and integrity officer of the Ghana Football Association, has been speaking to three sports on the matter. It will be a, very, a case that we would follow it to the latter, so that um, it will be a deterrent to individuals or clubs are engaged in match, match fixing. So I think we can give the assurance to clubs, media, everybody involved in football that this particular case would be, would, would be pursued for us to get to the very bottom of it. So everybody should be assured that this particular case, and I think when we work on this and, the, and everybody in the football system gets to know the, how we've worked on it, I think it will help us to, to be able to know that if something like that happens again, or if something like this is to happen, I think we'll be able to solve it as, as effective as possible.